Hello everyone, so this is my very first makeup video. Oh my goodness. So I've been seeing a lot of this latte makeup look and it's very beautiful. However, how and ever, I wanted to add a little bit of spice to things. I wanted to do a little bit of pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice latte look? Yeah, <laughs> let's get started. My name is Sharice. Welcome to my channel, Gracefully Sharice. So this is not going to be the typical tutorial. It's going to be kind of like a tutorial slash get ready with me slash we'll just see what happens with the face here. <laughs> I don't always use the typical makeup tools and I can be very much so a minimalist. So you will be seeing that. So yeah, the makeup's going to be more so focused on the, the eyes, the cheeks, and the lips. So I already did my eyebrows. By the way, for my eyebrows, I just use a regular makeup pencil from LA Colors. You can get these from Family Dollar and yeah. They're about a dollar and some change. So <laughs> I just use pencil. I just kind of simulate hairs. I'm an artist, so I draw. That's it. And yeah, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the concealer because I've been looking a little bit tired lately, but <laughs> it's a lot better than it was. So it's actually perfect for this video. So this is the Morphe Hide and Peak Concealer, and this is in the color Peak of Golden. So this is a color that I'm using right now, but sometimes it like it's a little bit too dark, sometimes it's too light, just depends on the time of year, but it works really good. And what I really love about this one is that it kind of like blends in with the actual skin. It doesn't get like crackly or anything like that, so I love this. Like I said, not the typical, so I like to get a, ooh, a little bit of concealer just a little bit and dab it on a q-tip I'm super sanitary you guys I just don't like putting the the applicator on my skin and then dipping it back in let me get my mirror here and I just dab it under my eyes dab 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 my lips feel so uncomfortable without my chapstick <laughs> they're not crusty but they're just it just feels funny by the way this mirror is like awesome it actually lights up but I'm not using the lights today you see some of that sleepiness and went away huh yeah so I'm gonna get a little bit more and put it on there and airplane putting a little bit more at the bottom so I don't do it all the way across I just again I'm a minimalist so Wherever I feel like it's like necessary, that's the only places I put this at. By the way, I just cut my hair so you might see that peeking out. <laughs> can let that dry some. Now I do the same thing for my face. I don't use foundation, I don't use powder. I just put concealer spots like, I like spot treat wherever it's needed. This is good for those of you who are minimalist or who are just on a budget or who are just in a hurry. So yeah. Okay, next I'm going to do my eyeliner. I'm super sanitary, you guys. I don't like touching my face. I really don't. So I always um, wrap my hand in very clean toilet paper. <laughs> but I'm using Wet n Wild Mega Liner. I absolutely love this eyeliner. I've been using it for years. It's pretty much matte. I don't like shiny eyeliner. So yeah, let's get started. By the way, who is excited for fall and winter? I'm so excited because where i live that's when the weather is most beautiful and you can pretty much dress like summertime during the daytime i used to do a wing all the time I'm just appreciating the shape of my natural eyes i'm actually running out which is why it's taking so long as you can see it's not super even so what i like to do is i like to get a q-tip q-tips are my best friend when it comes to makeup okay had some water there and I like to pinch the Q-tip. I like the pinch to Q-tip, okay? To make it pointy. What I do is I go ahead and clean that up. I am using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. This palette is called Sundays. So these are actually really pigmented and they go on really nicely and I absolutely love these. So imagine, I don't use primers on my lids, but imagine if you put a primer on your lid with this, this is going to really, really pop. And yes, we are back at it with the Q-tip. <laughs> this is actually just a pretty old school way to do your, your eyeshadow. It actually works really well, actually. See, look at that stacking. Look at that stacking.
I just like to pat it on. You see, you can already see the color. Guys, my white hairs are looking pretty raggedy right now. I actually love them. I've had white hairs since like junior high. I don't know why, but they've, they've just been there. <laughs> I like the precision that I, that these um, Q-tips like produce. Pumpkin spicing it up. Look how that stacks really nicely. You don't always need pricey tools, you guys. And I'm sorry, this one is the one that we use first, right here. Okay, the next color we're going to be using is this one here. This nice burnt orange looking color. So pretty. By the way, don't worry about the eyeliner. I'm going to clean that up like after I'm done. But next color. So now I'm actually going to use an actual makeup brush. <laughs> but it's not the... I don't think this is the brush you're actually supposed to use for this portion. But this is a brush from e.l.f. Let me see. Yeah, just an e.l.f. brush. This type of brush here. I try not to use too much of this color because this color is super pigmented. It really is. So I'm going to go into the crease. I like to do like a little v situation kind of see it this one was kind of messed up but hey let's go and i like to go into the crease here now gently because you don't always want to be tugging at your um at your eyes don't worry i know that looks a mess i'm going to be lightening that up and so i like to pull that up pull that up some I know there's a different brush for this, but yeah, I kind of just like to pull this up a little bit. I know a blending brush would be perfect for that. I do a little bit of a circular motion at the, the edges here for more blending. Okay, it's not bad. I actually went to go look in a, a different mirror, and I think it's just more intense on camera. So I'm thinking about adding a lighter color just on the inner, inner parts, yeah. The next color I'm going to use is, let me see, yeah, this one right here. So pretty. Now what I will say is that this palette can be just a little bit messy, so be careful. Okay, so I thought I was recording, and I was not, but I'm going to simulate what I just did. Give me a moment. <laughs> Light color, hope I don't mess this up. I went back into the first color. And I blended it in really nicely just to create a gradient and I went back with the brush that had the darkest color and I just kind of went back into the creases just in case anything was like messed up and just to kind of blend a little bit more I'm going back in with my wet n wild to clean things up this is just faster for me to do it this way I know people do the eyeshadow first but this is what works for me darling <laughs> I look so funny. It's kind of like because you already have a guide there and it kind of just works. Actually kind of hot today. Interestingly. So sometimes I pat my face. <laughs> So next, I'm going to be doing lashes, and then we'll get to the cheeks and the lips, but I'm using this dark adhesive um, from Clean Color. Literally got this from the 99 cent store. Works just awesomely. It's the type that like um, kind of peels and it turns into a sticky... Oh, hold on. <coughs> ah. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I, I just can't be normal and sneeze, I guess, sometimes, or yawn. But anyways, it's dark, so, like, there's not, like, that, um... Sometimes when you use, like, lash glues that are white or clear, there's, like, this weird reflective situation going on, and this one just doesn't really give you that. My lashes are so busted, but they're the Ardell ones. They're wispies. I love wispy lashes, so you can actually see them. Some of them have shed, but they still work. Okay, so here's my secret. So I like to get the glue 
kind of pump it up just a little bit and then I like to do this number here this way it's not messy let these dry how have you guys been by the way how did your summer go I hope it went great if you didn't have such a happy time please know that things do 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 get better they really do everything happens for a reason let those not so happy times serve as lessons and strengthening opportunities and just know that you're being prepared and God would not prepare you if there was nothing to prepare you for. So hang in there, be patient, and just wait. Just wait and see what the Lord has in store. So this should be about ready. My eyes are not that looped. I'm kind of pinching a little bit towards the end, but not all the way. I'm kind of opening them up. So let's see. Never done this before on camera. Never before done on camera by me. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other one off camera to save time. And by the way, to clean these corners, these inner corners of the eyeshadow, I just get a Q-tip, dip it in water, or run it underwater, pinch the tip so it can be pointy, and just do a perfect line. I also use the dry side as well. Next up, blush and then lips. For the blush, I'm going to be using CoverGirl's Cheekers. And it's, I'm so sorry I forgot the name, but it's, the number is 185 and it's some type of a, a plum. It says TR Plum. And here we go again. <laughs> Not the typical way. I use a cotton ball. I use the flattest cotton ball I can possibly find to do my blush. And it works beautifully, might I add. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to just dab, dab, dab. Kind of swipe a little bit. And then I'm just going to softly pat. Smile a little bit, or at least raise the cheeks. I have to build with this because I just don't want to go in and just put a bunch of blush on or else it might look too intense. subtle I do have somewhere to go after this <laughs> to go do a grocery run so I don't want to do too much like Sharice what are you doing and actually adding a little bit of blush if you like notice before and after actually does add a little bit of a contour I don't contour but this adds a little bit of a contour and lastly the lips so I'm gonna be using this clean color lip liner it's called liner lip pencil 101 and the color is Parmesan. It's a nice orange color. Cute little lip design on there. Parmesan. And so this is my favorite brand of lip, glo lip gloss right now. This is Lifter, Lifter Gloss <laughs> from Maybelline, New York. It's in the color Topaz. Oh, this is pigmented. Beautiful. So I'm gonna fill in the entire lip, okay? I like doing this because it like lasts possibly longer than some lipsticks. No, it probably looks a bit much now. This is why I'm gonna darken it up some. Well, you might like it, but I'm gonna darken it up some <laughs> because the eyes are already intense, so I'm gonna use the lip gloss for that. But first, darling, chapstick because I don't want crusty lips. <laughs> I just put it on like the, the inside because I don't wanna take up like, take off all the color. I'm back with my Q-tip because I don't have one of those lip gloss spoons yet. I feel like somebody's Barbie like looks like this. <laughs> All this bright color. So pretty. Why did I put my lip gloss way down there? 
told you we were pumpkin spicing it up. I mean, got me an orange tank top on, um, a robe with orange roses. If you have not seen my video on like my robes and lady talk, check it out. I'll be leaving a link in the description and I'm providing links for as many of them as possible. This lip gloss is actually stackable. So I could like let this first layer sit and then add more to it. Cleaner part of the Q-tip here. Gotta stay clean. Ooh, okay. Now when you let this lip gloss settle, like there's no like cracks or like creases. It just looks so smooth and beautiful. So let me go put something on and fix this hair a little bit, I guess, and show you a close up of the final look. These are such beautiful colors. I had to warm this look up by adding some browns and some warm tones to my outfit because we're already working with something pretty vibrant here. <laughs> Autumn is about warmth and preparing for new beginnings, which can be exciting. So I wanted to reflect that by wearing warm tones in my outfit and something as vibrant and bright as orange in my makeup. And I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. <laughs> this bang <laughs> let it ride so <laughs> that was my first makeup video so I hope you guys enjoyed and get ready for fall winter this is actually something you can wear any time of the year but I just felt a bit festive and I just wanted to just get into the pumpkin spice season and all the colors oranges and browns and um, reds and maroons and burgundies it's just so beautiful yeah we'll talk later so until next time, do all things in love and gracefully. Bye. I'm just all over the place.